help you? You don't remember me, do you? No. Sorry, I don't. You don't recognize your own mother? Who? You? <laughs> She's gone. She left me a long time ago. I didn't have a choice. Your father and mother wanted me out of your life. And that was the price I had to pay for a better life for you. One that I could not provide alone. So you think life as a black sheep was better, huh? You know, I would have traded all the money in the world to stay with you. You know that? I'm back now. You back now. Look, I don't know you, lady. All right? Now, now you, you had your chance, you blew it. I mean, what? You're just looking for a payout, right? Here's a picture of us. I know all of this may be confusing and a bit sudden, but we can talk all about all of that later. For now, just keep this between us. I can't help you get what's rightfully yours with all those nosy brothers and sisters you're snooping around. Wait, what's rightfully mine? This agency. All of this was built on your back. But you were too young to remember all of the auditions and the callbacks. Well, I will tell you all about it sometime later. For now, just sit tight and don't draw attention to yourself. What, you're just gonna leave again then, huh? Well, I guess that's what you do best. I have people to see. This is all for you. Believe me when I say that. You and that. What did you have in mind? Okay, but I want you to hear me out on this, though, okay? Kennedy Pemberton just called. She offered me double, double what our current shares are worth. And she doesn't want controlling interest. She's offering a merger. And you think this is something Dad would want? Look, she thinks she's getting a piece of us. But really, that would give us the leverage to put her out of business for good. Sounds risky. I don't think anyone around here is ready to go on limp for you, Seth. After the last fiasco. That was in the past. Besides, we never know what can happen. And we have to act in our family's best interest, right? No one lives forever. You do good business as far as bringing us clients and helping to build our portfolio. But stay out of the business side. Leave that to me and Dad. Yes. I need to speak to James, please. I'll hold. Okay. What is she doing here? Who is that? That's Kennedy Pemberton. She owns a talent agency on the other side of town. Mm. She's trouble. Don't even think about it. I just came by to tell you how sorry I am for your loss. Sure you are. I'm holding. Kennedy. It's a pleasure to meet you, Kenny. It's nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you, too. <laughs> well, I wanted to give you my deepest regrets. So give me a call if you never need anything. Or if uh, you need anything. Thanks, Kennedy. I'm sure we'll get by. All right? I'll be in touch. I hope so. What is wrong with you, Holden? That's uh, our competition. Keep your enemies closer and all, right? <laughs> I don't have time for this. Ziona.
So how you holding up? I'm fine. You wanna go get cleaned up? I'm not in the mood. My parents are missing. I was just trying to make you feel better. Now, do you want to tell me how I can do that? Or do you want me to shut up and play Mr. Mom as usual? Oh, so it's my fault you lost your job. I didn't lay you off, Michael. You made it clear you didn't want to hire me, though. What do you want me to do? You don't know anything about the agency. If we need a wing bill, we'll hire you to help. Other than that, I can't help you. We are doing fine financially. Are you serious? <clears throat> I can't remember the last time we spent any time together alone. I touch you, you back away. Why don't you just let me be your man instead of treat me like some kind of servant? You want to be the man, Michael? Then go out and get a job. Get back to work. So you hate me that much? To take away what little respect I have? That's how you want this to go? If there is one thing I learned from my father, it's that you have to earn your respect. I love that you take care of the family. What I don't like is that you feel like less of a man because you're not the breadwinner anymore. Life happens, Michael. Make an adjustment and move on. Look, I know you're upset right now. So can I just take care of you for a minute? I'm your husband first. We can work out the man thing later. Right? You are my man. I'm just so upset and I haven't heard anything all day. I know. I'll get it, Rihanna, and help us with the arrangement. We need to talk now.